Well, good morning. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Smoke's back from the forest fires. You know, you think if they gave all those firefighters a logging job, they probably wouldn't have as many forest fires, but what do I know? I'm just a dumb farmer. Hi, I'm Tony Fastadder. I'm Tony Fastadder. I'm Tony Fastadder. My family's been blessed to farm in Montana for over a hundred years now, and it wouldn't be possible without the great team we have and blessings from our Savior, Jesus Christ. Get that truck dumped and the cart dumped. I still can the cart from the other night. Okay. And then head to the bins with the cart and the other combine. I'm gonna go cut those peas. Okay. Bring me a truck once you okay. get there. Unless plans change. Okay. <laughs> well, it's time to move this morning. Probably the two handed job. Yep. Oh, yeah. We got a little dash of peas left to cut that we left as evergreen. And uh, finish cutting the derm, and then we're done for the year. And we're just gonna put up for fiber because the grain's really not doing much with this drought and the grasshoppers are really eating the bottom of the heads off and they're basically just falling off and it's not enough grain even out there to justify spraying them. So, we're gonna swallow the cultivator. But anyways, get this header off on the trailer, get hooked up to the back of my combine, fueled up and we're out of here. We got the header hooked up to the combine. Time to hit the road. We cut the peas and then Durham, and then we're done. Done, done. Operation water tank. Looks like it's getting a little bit close to being done. They got the top half built back there. That's a uh, rural water project going in around here. They're pipelined in a bunch of uh, poly pipe already and getting the towers and tanks built all over the place. So all the farmsteads, all the houses, all getting uh, treated water up here. So made it pretty nice. Headers on, got it back in float, got my gauge wheels lifted back up, and open up my pre-sieve a little bit. Nothing else needs to be changed except uh, just change the crop type on my monitor and it'll automatically start uh, adjusting the machine back to the P settings. So we run Sunnybrook concave, so they are all crop concaves and I don't have to do anything. One concave works in all crops, peas, wheat, canola, whatever we're doing. So well, let's get to my setting screen. We'll fire up the machine and that stuff will start adjusting. Not sure why my climate control is acting weird, but there we go. Ready to go. Dumping. I'm gonna bring the semi down to Tony and he should be about done with finishing up them peas down there that we left behind. Last pass of the peas and I have been fighting this thing feeding right. The peas want to fluff up, the cross auger's doing what it's supposed to be doing but oh I just like that it just stops. 
matter where I run my reel. It might be time to switch to hunting these. We've been fighting this for years. Yeah, just pull away. No, I don't need you anyways. It don't matter. See if I can unload into a truck now instead of a grain cart. The long drop. Just finished the first field and uh, 15 bushel average. That is awesome. Definitely take that. Russian thistle spots though. Kinda hurting the average. I think I got a little issue with radiator getting a little bit of full of chaff because it's uh, wind just swirling back here today. So just got that alarm. I'm gonna go uh, blow that out. Oh yeah, that, that's a problem. Oh, it's just falling right off. This should be easy. Much better, 153, I think we are at uh, 205. Good to go. It's kind of nice, using the grain cart for a grain cart, not just a weight wagon all harvest. Making two rounds on a mile long field for almost full, so. Another 15 bushel per acre average field to make. Cruising right along, 30 acres an hour per combine. Supposed to rain here tomorrow evening into Wednesday, so hopefully we get it done. Well, I just did a whoopsie on myself. Thought the green or the trap was shut on the truck. Yep, it wasn't. I double checked it and obviously it was not closed. Whoops, my bad. Time to clean it up. Well, here we go again. Oh, we left some grain in the truck last night and I'm gonna use the moisture tester. It says M.4. It's pretty good, but I'll do a couple more times and see what else it says.
sweet. We've cut all year. block of wheat here. We got the trucks parked kind of out here on the field road that divides this field. There's 240 acres that way yet and 300 acres where we're at right now. So last 540-ish acres and we're coming up on about 80 acres of the cut already. So we should finish tonight. truck driver and grain cart. I would park the truck here and then I take the fire truck out to the grain cart and then run around get that then come dump the cart and then bring the cart back out and bring the fire truck back to the truck get in the truck and go dump it. So this is definitely a lot of moving. Hand getting tired. And just like that we're ready to be dumped. Run to the grain cart. Another one ready back there. down to about 120 acres or less now. We do about two hours of cut and we got notifications we're getting rain here after a while. So hopefully we beat the rain. And then that's it besides, I don't know, 20, 15, 20 acres of sloughs that were way too green to cut. Uh, leave the combines here, come back in a couple weeks and get those cleaned up, I guess. Hopefully they're dry by then. And that'll be it. But the main push, we've done a day, I hope. Weather's uh, changing just a little bit, getting a little windier. Storms are getting closer. I think we'll be all right though. We have 140 acres cut of this block and 40 acres to go or less now.
We're getting close. There's the fence, edge of the field. I think we just have two and a half passes between uh, two combines here now, so round and a half, we got her. That's that. Now what am I gonna do for the next nine months? Hmm, figure something out, I guess.